Well folks, we decided to uh, give the deer a break and come try to chase some elk. We were really just sick of running around in the desert and it's hot and we we're sick of it. So we came up on the mountain where it's a lot cooler. We're on my favorite any bowl unit. It's a tough, tough freaking unit. So we have a couple cameras we're gonna go check. We're gonna go check some meadows, make a big loop through here looking for sign talked to some guys that have been in here the last few days and they said that there wasn't any fresh sign and no elk so we'll go see if they're right just feels good to be out of the heat and to be hiking up on the mountain They look like after almost a year. That's my bull I shot last year. We're gonna see if there's any of that meat that's still usable. Get some scrap jerky off of there and chew on a rib bone. Well, in the video we posted last Sunday, we were up here setting kill, drill cameras and scouting, and this is one of them that we set. Let's see what it got. Rocky predicts there's gonna be one bull in this camera. I think you're probably right. From what I could see from the tracks coming down the hill, that wallow's still not really blown out. It definitely got set off like something walked in front of it like the one picture is an elk's back it looks like but nothing ever hit the wall oh and there was a bull track right in front of the camera so probably one bull but yeah that wall oh it'll get better once the rut starts heating up these bulls will pull in here and smash it but as far as hunting it i don't think it's worth messing with so we're gonna go down below and check this other camera hopefully um, it's had a little more action on it. We put it on a little bit more of a main trail. That would be good. And if not, if there's nothing on that camera, then I'm tempted to hang a saddle where we saw all that sign this morning and where we bumped those out just because it's the freshest thing we got to go off of. So, Just a quick little tip to remember, especially this time of year, like if you're going on a hike or going out in the heat, uh, water's great, great for long hikes.
well. Uh, literally not an elk on that camera. The grass is smashed down around here. Looked like they've been in here, but never crossed on the main trail. Maybe they haven't been in here. Maybe it's just felt like laying down. I don't know. Looks like where we saw all that sign and jumped those elk this morning is going to be our best prospect for the evening. So we made a pretty big loop today. It's about 11. Hike out of here, go grab some lunch, make a plan for tonight. to the west today and see if these elk that we've been seeing are coming from over there on the morning and give her heck and probably kill a 380 bull I don't know I mean it wouldn't surprise me okay I'm not sure what this morning's gonna turn into. I think the elk are in bed. Um, if I had to guess from the sign that they probably went to bed like right at first light. Looks like they're running kind of a trail back and forth to the lower meadows. I mean, we have a decent play, and I think if we keep making these morning and evening plays and stuff on them, we'll run into them eventually, but from what I can tell, from all the places that we've checked in here for sign, I think we're hunting one bull and maybe two cows. They also have five miles of country right here and they can go wherever they want that's the joy of the over-the-counter elk units in utah you're hunting a few elk and it's really crappy until it gets good i'll probably head back down to camp and check one other place on the way over and uh, see what we do for the evening make a plan i've never used recalls in my life Rocky brought me this one from Dirk, the Dirk Signature Series. 
Uh, I like Dirk, he's my friend. There you go. How do you bugle? So, what Dirk does, so he growls in his throat, he goes, <laughs> Yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that one really wants to bugle. Yeah, so then, like, it's a, it's a combination of, like, breathing in and out. But, and like, yeah, that's good. Like, if you can do that into your tube, it sounds a lot more like a chuckle. Chuckling's like the hardest part of it. So then if you want to make it like really raspy, what he does is buzzes his lips. You can't do it without a tube. <laughs> exactly. You do some sick remixes with this thing. <laughs> All right, I could do it. working our way through this timber. We found this wallow that's just trashed. It's just been blown out, been bulls in it, so. We got a couple, three more cameras today. We'll put one on this tree where we can see the wallow and then also the trail in the background, so hopefully should get a look at whatever's blowing this wallow out. From the amount of time we've spent in here at prime time and not seeing these elk, I think they're just real nocturnal and active at night, but as the rut heats up and gets a little bit closer, they'll start cruising in the earlier and earlier into the day and later in the morning. So, set this bad boy up. Folks, I never thought I'd be making a shirtless Instagram video. We just got wrecked. Like wrecked. Rocky stripped down behind the camera. We uh, were sneaking down off this hill. I stepped on this dead log and it gave out and we just got mobbed by yellow jackets. Just like freaking instantly. That hill was covered in dead halt fall and super steep and I was just sprinting and falling down it, dude. I had a total gear yard sale. I think my bow is okay, but like, just trying to count. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hundred us down. I got five on my neck and that one just got me on the shoulder again. Um, but yeah, we, I fell right in the middle of the nest, right on my back. Ran down the hill as fast as I could, and Rocky came running behind me. But there's one on you right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get dressed. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna put clothes on and get out of here. This sucks. Okay, folks, we made her back to the truck after an uneventful evening as far as out goes, but very eventful with the hornets. I think I got about 10 or so. Rocky got a handful, and it sucked. Anyway, so that was the end of our night. We pretty much blew everything out of the country, running and yelling and throwing gear everywhere. So, um, but that's gonna do it for this video. Typical over-the-counter elk video where you see no elk. But uh, pretty encouraged by the little bit of sign that we did see. We got a couple cameras up and some tree saddle spots found. So plan to circle back probably next week and try them all again. And if these rut gets going a little bit, we should have a lot more action. But I do need to thank a people who bought apparel. We had three orders come in since the last video that I made. Actually two, but they were both good size orders. Brett Dietrich, I think that's how you say it. Um, thank you very much for a good size order and Kyle Haas uh, fun fact Kyle Haas is in the top five highest purchasers on my store of all time so I had a boy Haas I appreciate it buddy so thank you guys for the orders thanks you guys for following along and watching this video we're headed back south we'll be chasing mule deer again and then um, we're headed to Colorado to hunt elk with our bows so stoked for that stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one three four five six